recently I'd ranked up to level 1000 in GTA Online. In that time I've made over 1.2 billion dollars, spent over 740 million dollars, played almost 300 hours and killed almost 20,000 players. I've bought every business and property I could, owned around 300 vehicles, all the helicopters and planes I could ever want and generally act like money is not an issue. So I wondered what it would be like to get rid of all of that wealth and start all over again. This is my journey on how I went from riches to rags. Right, so the first thing I need to do is recreate my character. I could go with this sexy bitch here. She's got a nice stomach. But I don't think having a gender transformation is really the route I want to go down. So, okay, right, so male. God, he's attractive, isn't he? Look at this, Stanner. Right, so my original character was Violet and Benjamin. There we go. Make him look like Benjamin. Done. Next bit. That's his appearance sorted. Right now, on to his statistics. I want good shooting, good strength, and good driving. That's what we need to get started. Who the hell would want their character to look like that? Okay, that's a bit better. Something a bit scruffy. Got to look a bit poor, because I am. Let's go with this one. That is a sexy man right there. Ladies, even though he's poor, I mean, look at him. This motherfucker now, huh? That's what I'm talking about. Come here, holler at your boy. Man, it's good to finally meet you, man. After all that time on Life Invaders, man, we friends in real life now, huh? Look at you, dude. You, like, smaller than you look in your picture, but... Oh, fuck it, it don't matter. Hey, I heard you wasn't a big talker, right? If I said, just probably need to get settled in, got that jet lag, you know? So I got a little gift for you. Welcome to Los Santos. Untraceable. You gotta love that. Who your partner is, pimp? Who your partner is? <laughs> First thing I needed to do online was to win a race against Lamar. And of course, I'm going to go for the fastest and best car in the game, the Surge. Beating Lamar was super easy, mostly because I had the amazing Surge, but also because the game lets you win. After 2 minutes and 49 seconds, I am now $3,000 richer and I'm already up to rank 2. Get in! Then of course, what happens after you complete a job in GTA Online? You get a loading screen! How long was this loading screen for? I timed it! 7 minutes!
So after having to close down a game and restart it again, I eventually load in with Lamar. Yeah. He seems a bit confused as he's asking me about making some dairy products. You trying to make some cheese? After spending some time trying to convince Lamar that I'm not here for cheese, I'm here to make some money and to rank up my RP, he eventually gives me another job. Anyway, why don't you slide down there and see if you can shake up the free market economy a little bit and uh, get that cheese. Not wanting to argue with or upset my new mentor, I decide to accept his job and try my best to locate his lost cheese. You know, we got you. After trying my best to negotiate with the friendly local farmers of Los Santos about the whereabouts of Lamar's cheese, it seems that force is my only option and decide to murder every single one of them. But oh no, it appears that someone has run off with Lamar's cheese, which is cleverly disguised under the codename of drugs here, presumably to prevent suspicion from the local cops. After picking up Lamar's stolen cheese, or drugs, I then have to deliver it to one of his friends, who by the looks of him also really likes cheese. Hey. Lamar, being the untrustworthy kind of guy that he is, asks me to check to see if Gerald has any other cheese hidden anywhere else. Maybe you can stick your hand up his ass. Yeah. Weirdly, I discover two packs of Red Leicester, three packs of Edam, and one pack of Camembert tightly pressed up inside Gerald's rectal cavity. Don't bother counting it. You get anything else interesting? Bring it my way. What I tell you, motherfucker? We like you. And now you got you some bread? What you need to do is go get you some motherfucking gear, because you bummy as fuck. You can't be walking around with me looking like that. You need to better representate yourself. You know what I'm talking about? Hey, G, don't get lost, fool. Come on, man, tear that shit off, man. After eating the most disgusting sandwich ever made from my new bread and Gerald's arse cheese, I pass my next mission and earn a massive $500. And I'm now up to rank three. Get in! I'm still way too poor to afford a home and will live underneath a bridge with the other homeless bums until I can earn enough money for food and shelter. So join me next time to see how much money I can earn in the next episode of Riches to Rags.